Ray, a pack of golden sun. Hello. We are back. Ooh, Guess everybody. Who's back. Oh my God. Guess who's Bizak? Back on the block with them O's. Oh. It is the killing time, boy. Man, 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 man. And we are back in the goddamn building. Yeah. What up, everybody? Yeah. We Good are boy. your lovely host, handsome host. Lovely, handsome host? I'm right, Corey. Right, I'm with it. Well, we, they, they didn't see this now on you know Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Rachel, we do have an Instagram. Do we? <laughs> really? <laughs> we got Reginald and we got Ronaldo. In the building. You know, let, let's take a shot, was Reginald. Reginald. y'all. We're getting this, this damn week. You say Reginald, though. Hold on. Yeah, Reginald. Oh, that's where we at? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cheers, Big Ears. Cheers, Cheers Big Ears. We missed y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shots to Crown Royal Apple on deck. Ooh. Um, yeah, yeah. So if you know to our loyal listeners, we didn't um, we didn't record last week. We were supposed to record with the ladies while we were in Seattle. Yeah. But um, mm. I think we got drunk every night. Uh, Too well, drunk. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Every I night. Would, I, I think would, we were all drunk every night. I know I did. Oh, you brother, you had the best time <laughs> of everybody. I know I did. <laughs> you enjoyed yourself <laughs> tremendously. I did. I had fun. I had fun. Tremendous. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of glad that we didn't record. I mean, I feel like it would have been good to to have the ladies, you know, talk. But I think that it would have maybe tainted our experience with. Them. Yes, you know I agree. I, mean? so I agree. I'm, I'm kind of glad that we did. I'm glad we didn't because really. my wife would have been talking mad shit about me. <laughs> she was ready. She got full. Yeah. All right, she already gave me a couple looks that weekend. I was, you know, like, did I say mm. something wrong and shit? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But um, we glad we back. We enjoyed the trip. What was y'all um favorite part about the trip, man? Space Needle. Might have been the Space Needle. Okay. Yeah, I think just me, just just for me, I think the Space Needle was really mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Like okay. it was a fun time. Right. All the way around. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Um I was actually okay, so Space Needle and I'm gonna say Vons when we went to go eat. At Vons? Because be, and I'm oh, gonna Vons one thousand, yeah. yeah Vons, Vons, Vons was really, really good. Uh, I'm sorry, it sounds like I just said just Vons the yes, store. Did. Vons one thousand. I, I was like, we went to Safeway. <laughs> <laughs> Vons was really good to eat at. Mm-hmm. Okay, but um, and I think it was because I wasn't expecting that experience. Right, right, right. What'd you have? Uh, if you remember, the Tilly Cherry Pasta. Chicken, yeah, with Gouda, yeah. And you had like some crispy garlic chicken stuff too, right? Ah, uh, we ain't gonna talk about don't the talk chicken. about the chicken. Okay, but those noodles, yeah, I'm still talking about them. Okay, I, I don't. I, I done went on the website three times since we've been back <laughs> trying to order a bag of noodles. <laughs> like, like they're gonna change the website. Okay, but that's funny. Okay. It is, those noodles were really Vons good. Vons One Thousand was really good. Yeah, yeah, that was it was uh, it was really really good. Yeah, I I think that those two places might have been my two favorite places. Okay. Besides just sitting at the house and just talking. Right, right, right. Do you really like uh, Pike's Place? I mean, Pike's Place is just like a, a flea market. I did like going to the first, is. first Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. The first Starbucks was and, dope. And seeing that logo, of the first original mm-hmm. logo. The Naked Mermaid. Yeah. With the titties out. With the titties no bra out. got the titties out. We know I'm a titty man, so. Yeah. I actually drank out of my Starbucks cup this morning. My first Starbucks cup this morning. Oh, did you? Yeah, I drank my coffee. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When I was watching TV this morning, watching the Kevin Hart special and stuff. Mm. I still haven't watched it yet. It's not. It's watchable. What about you, Ray? What was um, your favorite part? What's up, nephew? I would say, well, the Space Needle also, because mm-hmm. that was what I wanted to go see, like, was the Space Needle. Yeah. That was really the only thing I wanted to do was, oh, we're going to Seattle, I want to go to Space Needle. Of course. So, um, outside of that. Yeah, some sound, uh, I know we're talking, but we're going to have to figure this out, too. Something sounds sketchy in the background, like it's too much gain somewhere. Yeah. Let me turn it. Let me see. Something sounds like you like for some odd reason I'm hearing way better than I've ever heard before. Are oh, you hearing a lot of background? Yeah. Yeah. Did you do an update while we was gone? I 
Yeah. No, there it go. Yeah, that's better. There, oh, yeah, that's it. Some mic was. Too high. Yeah. was. That's, that's it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Now we're in. Come on, sound engineer. My bad. My bad. I, my bad. Right, I had to tweak a little bit. <laughs> Started back over. Um, um, but yeah, it was it was definitely the Space Needle. Okay. Um, that was <laughs> like really just what I wanted to see. Yeah. What the, um, me and Shafan had a little date night. What we went ball? out to eat. Mm-hmm. Um, they wanted to get away from us. Not that we wanted to get away <laughs> from you guys. I mean, I know we talked about this like even before we were planning it. Like, because you were planning on doing a dinner yes. or whatever for, for your wife for uh-huh. her birthday yeah. or whatever. I was like, okay, well, you know, we're going to have, you know, a little date night or whatever. So, yeah, we ended up going out to uh, Danielle's Broiler. Broiler, yeah. Yeah, that mm-hmm. shit was, was on fire. I mean, it was fine dining restaurant. It was a very nice experience. So, I Y'all, mean, the food was good. Forgive our nephew in the background. He's getting some food. Hey, Y'all know him. already. We recorded in McDonald's kitchen. Yeah. It's all right. And his I'm kids. pretty sure they don't care about yeah. the background. Nah. Um, but, yeah, that, you know, just, just seeing, you know, something different. You know, you get kind of stagnant seeing the same streets and the same stores and the same you know downtown all the time right i, I right. drive different place different ways to work all the time just so i can switch shit up sometimes yeah but uh no that was cool it was, it was cool to see yeah man I, I, I like the environment out there yeah i could probably i've always said that if i ever were to retire someplace it would either be colorado or hawaii mm-hmm but I could probably see Seattle probably be. You could deal with all the rain. I could probably, oh yeah, I could definitely deal with the rain. I love it. I like, I love it. I think I get it from my grandfather. I though, can't stand but, uh, the rain. But I can, I can definitely really? deal with the rain. Boy, so I can deal with rain. Like when I lived in Hawaii. Well, hold it, on before you get to the rain. Okay. What was your favorite? Hmm. Um, I had a couple favorites. Okay. One. I don't know. One was all six of us just being together. Mm-hmm. First off, we always do that. Nah. I know, but not on like I know we took a vacation together. I'm just saying. Oh, this was the first time that all six all of six of us by was ourselves actually, was actually on a vacation together. Okay, I'll give you that. You one. know what I'm saying? You're right. I, I, you know, as close as we all are, as close as the girls are getting, it was good for it to just be us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Um, the Space Needle. Even though, surprise, of even though he's scared so of heights, so I'm terrified of heights. Terrified <laughs> of heights. I can fly in an airplane all day, but when it comes to me going to the top of the tall building, climbing a ladder, climbing a, a it's ladder, the open air. or climbing a ten foot rock wall at Magic Mountain, yeah, it's open air. I got issues. Yes, it's the open air that that scares me. But um. You know, I was when I first got on the elevator. I, I ain't gonna lie, my eyes was closed. You didn't have your eyes open. Was going on at first, maybe like a, a third of the way through, I opened my eyes. That's up. why I sent you that video so you could see you yeah. know, going up. A third of it because you knew I was gonna close my eyes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So a third of the way up, my eyes it, it was really beautiful. Um, then we went out on the edge, and I actually got up on the the seat and got to the edge, which was kind of terrifying for me. But you know. Conquer I like that. the Daniel. Yeah, I man. I like the Daniel. Yeah, man. We conquered that. Um, the other place I like was um, the waterfall, man. Snow I, Quality I did like Falls. Them. That was Snow cool. Quality, Snow Quality, however you say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was really, really, really nice. I um, do feel like we could have spent more time down there, though. Oh, I think we could have as well. Because, I mean, we just saw the, the waterfall tra- yeah. and then we just left. And then we yeah. just bounced. I feel yeah. like there was more to see and the more train. to do down there. I wanted to go see the train. Hmm. I didn't and know right. they had a train. There was a train across it was, the It was water. going across the, the yeah, mm-hmm. on the other side on the of other the, side of the waterfall. There was a train going back Never and forth. Knew. Um, so that was really cool. But, you know, that was just a, a good trip all in all. One thing that did surprise me about Seattle was the um, the homeless population out there. That's um, a lot. That's I said a lot. the same thing. And talking to my stepbrother, I understood why. Because they get the incentives. Apparently, if there's five or more tents in the area... The city has to provide services for them, porta potties and social workers and everything like that. Oh, so somebody dropping off food so to them now. What, what he said was, a lot of the people are, that are homeless aren't even from Seattle or mm-hmm. Washington State. They're moving in state mm-hmm. because of these uh, benefits. I, yeah. I, it was definitely a lot, but it wasn't more than what you see here. Uh, I think you just I, get. Man. I think you just get used to it here. No, because and, okay. Bro, when's the last time you drove down Main Street? Okay, and that's that's my next thing. So. With okay. Main Street, our homeless are they usually are isolated 
to one to spot. that to one spot. There's people that are homeless down the yes, street from here. Yes, but for the most part, you see them down on Main Street near downtown. You don't see them coming out here too yes. much. They're still homeless, yes, but not to the extent as we saw in Seattle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like the apartment went look for Jimi Hendrix statue. That was a tent city along the highways. It was a tent city, bro. You like see it out time. here too. You see I mean, it out here too. I mean, I'm telling you, I yes. think you're just, it's, I think you're just accustomed to it. Okay. You can get on the freeway right here at 15 and Craig, and you can start driving south. And you're gonna see, you're gonna see tents yes. all off onto yeah. the side yeah. of the road I mean, I and guess, a little. I guess and I can little, see it both sides. Okay. I can Gal- see both sides. I can see what you're saying because I thought the same thing, Corey. Mm-hmm. I did think that it, the the population was a little bit higher. Of homeless there, but I think it was the area that we were in. Okay, too. Are are trying to get to? Yeah. Oh, cause yeah. Because it was in the hood. No, like that that part, like down there, you didn't see. You no, didn't see nothing. You didn't down see there. Not no only that, homeless down but there. But we also spent a lot of time downtown. We yeah, that's where. That's, that's what I was about true. to say. That's where a True-day. lot of the homeless people okay. are going to be what I was downtown. About to say, is you got to realize where we were at and yeah, and trying to get to. We were by famous things trying to see you true. Yes. Trying to see some stuff. Like, so. like if you're a tourist and you go down Fremont Street, you're gonna be like, "Oh, right, wow, right, there's right. a lot of homeless people okay. out here." You get okay. past Thirteenth Street. <laughs> Once you get past Thirteenth Street, you're gonna be like, "Where the fucking right?" Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what. One other thing that surprised us when we move on was um, the lip, the lip uh, restaurant Ronaldo found. Oh, oh, the Thai, the restaurant. Thai, the Thai restaurant? restaurant. First of all, it was smacking. <laughs> smacking. Pinto bro. something, whatever it was. I don't eat a lot, but I can find some food, bro. bro. That's what I can do. That shit was bad. Shout out look. to the Open Table app. Oh, because yes. that's where I find like all open my reservations. And that's what I Thank do. You. All my shit off of is Open Table. I will find some shit on Open Table. Actually, yes. I might have to say I have a different favorite. My Mama. favorite might have been breakfast with that damn toaster oven. Okay. <laughs> And the Come on, it was like English muffins. The, the, English muffins. the breakfast that Corey made. Woo, and, and the holiday sauce. <laughs> All Reggie was talking about the whole weekend. I was like, oh, oven when, when I get what home. was it that he called the Eggs Benedict? The egg, and it wasn't even Eggs Benedict. He just called it Eggs Benedict I'm, the whole I'm weekend. Give me one of them. I'm giving me, a, I'm giving me, what y'all gonna do tonight? What y'all eating tonight for dinner? I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna fix me an eggs bin in it. That's what I told the people. Every, every time. Oh. Sis was like, what you, what you gonna eat for dinner, Reggie? Yeah, eggs bin in it. We still got some ham and some muffins up in there. I'm good. But Poach will fry me an egg real quick. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna run that oh, red man. light. That's, that shit was back in that light. I did like that because it, it, um, it, Eating at the um, Airbnb kind of saved us a lot of money. Well, and then I don't think ne- I don't think any of us realized how expensive Seattle actually oh was. Oh my god, that oh, yeah, parking, no, it was really expensive. That parking, not even the parking side of it, but even going out to eat. Like, <laughs> yes. yeah, we we ain't no chumps. Like, we'll yeah. go out and we'll spend money. Uh-huh. But like going out and Daily then, basis, and then, getting, and then getting, getting hit like that, you'd yeah, be yeah. like, bro, how are we <laughs> living out yeah, here? Yeah, Cause Cause I, was Von, I think Vaughn's hit, hit me for like one something. That's for, what I'm saying. For me, for like, me and the wifey's bill. I don't even know what it was because uh, I, I think you spent the most out of everybody because you went to dinner that the, the night before. The yeah, night before. Yeah. Which, and that shit hit you over the head, I'm sure. Yeah, but, I was expecting it. Yeah. But it's just one of those things where you be like, okay, what is the like, and and I'm going to definitely have to do some research. What is the the cost of living? Okay? Cost of living. I was finna say price of so, living. So um, cost of living in Seattle versus Las so, Vegas. So, so very mm-hmm. expensive. So it my, my step brother lives in Federal Way, which is about ten minutes, I think, south of the airport. I want to say mm-hmm. south of the airport out there. Um. They're about his house in the area to average in about what we're averaging here in mm-hmm. the four hundreds, three three fifty and up around there. Okay, but you know, the townhouse we were staying in is like a half a million it was dollars, five hundred thousand dollars. See, in the look middle of this. the hood, look at this. You know, in what the I'm middle saying? of I, the hood, I went and looked at the shit on Google Earth because yeah. I had mapped it, you know, before we had left. If you go to Street View, that's just not even built. No, no, I looked it's it up not. too. <laughs> that's just not I even built on Google Earth. No. To show somebody. I was right. showing Tony. As yeah, a matter of fact. That's just not even built. Yeah, man. But that was um yeah. The the housing market out there was crazy. Even the condos we saw downtown when we was up about next to Half a mil. No, those no, were a million dollars. Those were one point five. Yeah, those were a million dollars. I meant a million condos. I meant one point five. Yeah. Million. I'm sure Russ got a place down there next to the stadium. Shit. Russ was he? Yeah, he definitely not with, does. Not. 
Shit, you think she living down there close by the stadium? No, he, he, I'm sure maybe like he's like, okay, oh, well, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not coming yeah, 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 gonna stay For up. him in his house? <laughs> I don't, I don't think Russ is on that, that level. That's a good question, that, exactly. young man. That's, that's, that's where he works out, and if he gets tired, <laughs> works out, then like he's going to crash. Because he works out every day, spends a million dollars on his body, right? A year. Yeah. On his body. I just want a million dollars, and he's spending on his body. And he's yeah. got to keep it. If I can spend a million, right, dollars on, a million dollars on my body every single year, it still I, look like that because you're spending two on three. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I don't like you. I win. I don't like you at all. Bam. But you might have a point. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. All right, so we should, should we get into our shiznit? Um, I wish I, what else yeah. I got, man? Um, I guess my last thing on, on Seattle, man, and I, I think outside of everything, I think my favorite, favorite thing would just be the proximity to fresh fish and seafood oh and shit gosh. oh my yeah because you know because you because i'm a man. big salmon man yeah i'm salmon man salmon i think man. I, I, don't, I don't think I you literally ate steak or burger the whole time out there <laughs> literally can just oh no he when did. we went to the he restaurant was on salmon well when we went when oh, we oh, yeah, yeah, steak. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you guys get steak for but breakfast. i had a king crab go with it of course you know whatever but i just that's like one of one of my favorite things yeah my other favorite thing about what amazed me was being in safeway and finding those crab legs already cracked for you. First of all, I oh, demolished the them shit. Already, yeah, already I demolished them shit. <laughs> well, I ate half of them yeah. out there. I brought Frozen. them back them home. And then, like, all me and that. mom was in there. She was like, they ain't got this shit here? No. No, mom. Mm-mm. Oh, you brought some of that shit home? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he froze it for like an hour and a half before we left, uh, left to the airport. Packed it up and in my and bag. Threw it in the bag. Yeah. And packed Cheers it up, up in y'all. my bag. Yeah, yeah, dogs shot. probably Cheers. going crazy. If you keep yeah. me shots, if you keep track of shots, we on three. I'm on two. We're, We're on, on two. Corey. You're on three. Oh, my no. bad. I'm out. Red is on three. Red is on three. I'm yes. out. You got. Hmm. Hmm. You trying to step my spotlight? Flash. Okay. Let's you trying to be me, Flash. Let's hmm. get into the shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get into the shits. My fiance wants to get a tattoo of her ex's name. Oh, you coming out hot? Right before our spicy wedding. hot too. Okay, she you wants to do what? Read it again. Read it one more time. A man claims that his fiance wants to get a tattoo of her <coughs> ex boyfriend's name on her wrist. Did you read the story? Yeah, you just sent the highlight. I, I read it. Oh, okay. The anonymous man explained that when his fiance's ex boyfriend passed last month, she was devastated. She and her ex were part, both part of the same friendship group and had remained friends after breaking up. But because he met her through work, he didn't know her pals well. After the death of her ex, she was having a hard time coping. As he said, she took a few days away from me after she heard the news because she couldn't stop crying and said she wanted time alone to process what happened and sort of and sort out her emotions that were in a mess. So she went to stay with her sister. She talked to me every night and said she'd be coming home soon. I didn't rush her or anything. Instead, I asked if she needed anything. So it continues. She came home three weeks, three weeks later and seemed calmer than before. She stayed in touch with other mutual friends who knew her ex and they planned to do things to honor him. But when she told me what she planned in memory of him, he couldn't. Be- I couldn't believe it. She was talking to me and told me that she was planning on getting a tattoo on her wrist with his first name on her left wrist. I was taken aback. I asked her where she came up with this idea and why she decided without telling me. She laughed out at me for saying that it felt weird to me. Uh, for saying that if she laughed out at me for me saying that it felt weird to me. She went on about me not not losing the love when experiencing this kind of pain. Therefore, I would understand how important it is for her. He says the conversation <laughs> soon turned to a flu blown argument. I told her that I'd be postponing the wedding, which was supposed to be in January. Oh, we engaged. Until yeah, she like, could reconsider yeah, her yeah, decision I, okay. yeah. of getting a tattoo. Mm. She didn't take that well and went back to her sister's house. Mm. Yeah, I bet. Yes. So, he uploaded to Reddit and got uh, mm. a whole bunch of comments, but I want y'all comments on I, how y'all I, feel I about have, this. Uh, I you, guess just a few questions that, you know... I guess we can answer it, but you know, I guess oh, we, would it's gonna to, be us we would have to read more into the story, but mm-hmm. I want to know how long they were together. That's a, okay. Okay. That's a good question. All so right. ju- that's my, that's my first question. Okay. So let's, let's just hypothetically say they were together for, cause they're engaged. Let's just say five years. Yep. Let's just say they were together for five years okay. or have been together for mm-hmm. five years and they just get recently got engaged. Yes. Okay. And so the wedding is a year away. Mm hmm. 
Just I'm just throwing out random He's numbers. Spitballing. Yeah, I'm just spitballing, just throwing out random numbers. The boy, the ex boyfriend that she's still friends with dies. Um, you know, I don't know. Just the he six dies. months before the wedding. Yeah, six months before yeah. the wedding. She's this broken up about it. I'm understandable, I guess. I guess if I put myself in because you are Mister Understandable. I'm 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 gonna mm-hmm. be understandable, but at the same time, I'm gonna be a little apprehensive as to why she feels well i'm not gonna say why she feels because just because you're friends with them doesn't mean that i have to be no, friends of course with them. Not. you know what i mean so if you're disconnected to this guy okay that's your that's your boy okay i understand that's your ex you guys are still friends but me and you have you know our thing or whatever so okay whatever but for it to take that type of turn the tattoo I would be a little cautious. Not even that. Like the tattoo is probably the last part, but the she took a break from me. She went to her sister's for, for three, three weeks. weeks, and then she comes back and talking about she wants to get a tattoo. Yeah, like the like those are like three drastic yes. things. Yes. you know what I mean. That I would have to question, and I would be on his side. But before all that, I'm with her. Go ahead. You know what? More your friend. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's your boy. Do do what you do, but. Yeah, at the end, I got I got to be on his side. Like, what, mm. what, 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 what? No, nah, I'm listening. Okay, don't. That's no. all I got. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Reg. Okay, for me, I've been in I've been in this situation, actually. Um, just dating a girl. Okay, like we started dating, the, the dude that she was with prior to me. Um, I, I like they they had their relationship or whatever. She got pregnant um, by him, and she ended up having like an abortion. It would have been his first kid. He ended up dying. Okay. Um, of course. Uh, yeah, he got sh- he gets shot or whatever. He dies. She's torn up about. It. Of course, I'm going to be there for you, but I think you lose me when you. Like on that pull away from me mm-hmm. part. Yes. That's where you lose me at because I'm here for you. Right. I'm not here against you. I'm not here telling you no, not you to can't, do something. Yeah, no, you can't be friends mm-hmm. or, right. or that. So, like, when me and her went through it, she didn't pull away from me. Right. Um, Did she gravitate towards you more or? I think, I think we just had like a healthy understanding. Like, mm-hmm. I know you're going through something. I'm going to do whatever I can to be there I for you. I got you. Okay. Right. And if you if you want to go by there and talk to his parents, you want to go by there or whatever, mm-hmm. by all means, go. Yeah. Here right. goes the keys to the yes. car. Right. Go do right. you. Right. 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 That's totally understandable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go do you. Like I, and I don't feel like I need to be up under you like, oh. Doing the situation. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. That's, exactly. that's you. You have you to go, go do you. you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that, that part of it, I understand. The tattoo, I think, to me, is, is a little bit. For me, I'm with him. Like, yeah. like to me, they have a very good communication. But I think it broke down in the part of she feels like he's getting, she's getting questioned about something she wants to do. Okay, that's where her anger, to me, I think stemmed from. All right, without even knowing okay. either one yeah, of them, right. she feels like he's questioning her about something that she wants to do, and that don't really float well with anybody. Right. Okay. I don't, I don't even think it's that though. I think she's mad because of his reaction that he wasn't like, oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, because she's he's questioning. Oh, no, he's okay. questioning. I, he has a right to question. He, he definitely has, has a every right to question. Right to if I'm question to be your him. husband to be exactly, you, you even cannot, got, you you didn't even have my name on your body. I, it's, so, and it's not even that. It's the fact that. I don't know how I would feel. Like, if you had that tattoo prior to me meeting That's you. That's different. That's different. We, I'm going in and I know it. Yeah. But after we've been together for a certain amount of time or are together and we, we're at the point where I'm asking you to marry me, you don't need to be getting somebody else's name tattooed on you unless they came out your poom. <laughs> right. Unless it's our uh, kid. Right? Let's go. <laughs> right. I wish I had a notepad to write these gems down. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, like, you do. Like, that's Jimmy just me. Because it's recording. Yeah. <laughs> that's just me. Like, yeah. It, 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 but unless it's, unless it's one of your kids, uh-huh. put the name on you. Yeah. Outside of that, like, we got to, you got to understand that I'm going to feel some right, type right, of way right, of about whatever you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. After that. Okay. Absolutely. And for her not to understand it, it's just her not being understanding. Yeah. Also. Okay. 
Corey. What you got? <laughs> oh, you thought we was going to let you off? No, I knew you. I hope <laughs> not. I Come truly on. hope not. Fuck her. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't say it. I'm so glad I didn't say it. Cause I thought you, I, I I think you set me up thinking I was gonna be like you know what no fuck her. But all of us too, I I warned you to be with the person. Yeah. But fuck her. Oh okay. Okay. Um, hmm. I am all for you grieving somebody that you were close to. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I am all, we, we're me, all in that same I am stand. all Absolutely. for you grieving yeah, we're a all, friend. We're all on that boat. We're all there. We're all there. But you come back and want to put something permanent on your body for this man. Hold on. We okay? You all right with the three weeks gone? I told you. That's where, I, that's Hold where, on. That's where she left me. Hold well, on. You that's said, that's, that's where back. the shit went know, sideways to me. I ain't even got there yet. I'm, no, that's prior to okay. getting the tattoo. You, you, you want me to come back? Head. You I need to come back. Stay in hey, order. No. Head. Fuck you for being gone for three weeks too. <laughs> because right. but if tell you, me how you really feel. If you are my fiance, mm-hmm. we this is something that we need. I have to go through this together with you. Mm-hmm. Because this isn't if we are building if we are to be married and building a life together. This is not the first death we are going to experience as a couple. Okay. I'm going to experience death. You're looking down the road. But She's I, going I, I to see, experience no, no, death. I see what you're doing there. I see there. what you're doing. Yeah. So if this is what you're doing for a ex-boyfriend, you're going for three weeks. Yeah, what's going to happen when your mama or somebody die? Boom. Like, I ain't going to see you for two months? Right. right. Bro, your no. sister, the right. house that you We're just gonna went to. We're going to wrap this right. up. This, this, right. These are questions already to me right, that need to be addressed. You're dropping long-term okay. knowledge okay. on me, right? Now. Yes, because if marriage is supposed to be for life. Right. You, you know right. what I'm saying? It's supposed to be for life. Right. I didn't pay attention to that in my first one. <laughs> <laughs> now you learn. Se- but you. the second one, I am. Now you learn. And thank <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, for them three weeks though, no. We're supposed to gravitate towards each other doing, doing times of need and times of, distre- and times of distress. I'm supposed to be able to pick you up out of this. Yes, that's your friend. I got it. I got you. I understand. Mm-hmm. Now, you coming back going to get this fucking tattoo of this dude name on your body? <laughs> nope. Oh, you mad, man? You dropping f bombs and everything? Right. Got you <laughs> tight. Yeah. 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 Got you all tight. Mm. Like mm. no, because now I'm questioning. The fuck was you doing anyway? Doing this whole engagement? Was you still fucking the motherfucker to get his uh, name tattooed? See, you done went all the way left. These I didn't qu- even jump into this he category of shit. He did take it there. These are questions. He no. did take it there. No. Why not? Why is that not a question I can ask? It's a definitely. I mean, it's, it's, a, definitely, it's, a it's definitely, definitely a question. It's definitely a question. But my thing in it is how okay. much. Like it seems like they have a really good communication. Well, I shouldn't say who, it seems like they do. Who do? He has a really good communication. Okay. But is he? That's is Spike he, Lee. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay, is he actually? That's uh, what you call Catherine. his son that got j- drafted. Who? Carmelo. Son. No. Um, um, what you call Anthony's son? That's, uh, that's Greg. Anthony. Greg Anthony's son. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. yeah, he's right. right there. Yeah. Greg Anthony's okay. right there. Okay. Oh, there he is. Hey, you, V. We're the goddamn rebels. Nineties baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, been shit since. No, like, why did like he have it, Spike Lee there? That's kind of they probably close. Yeah, that's probably that's the probably Knicks. Knicks. Yeah, Knicks. Yeah. Anthony played for the Knicks, and boom, boom, boom. So, yeah. My thing with it is, sorry for the impromptu. What's up, dude? We watching, watching, we watching the draft. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we watching, watching the draft, draft and getting time. drunk yeah. and talking to y'all. Yeah. So right. it is what it is. Y'all gonna catch it all. <laughs> but no, like he has. I don't know what I need to know what their communication is like because he's. That Reddit post or whatever mm-hmm. that post was on, like he comes out as a really good guy. Yes. And it sounds like everything you would say in that situation after thinking about it. Okay. So not that, what you would say in the heat of those moments. That's what I was gonna say. Right. Like how he comes off as a good guy because he's the one that wrote it. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So what did you really say? Oh, he probably said some shit. But that's what I'm saying. So that, but he's giving us her raw reaction. Mm-hmm. But are we getting his raw? We may not be. We we may not be. And my but. thing is, we turned up because it's like, hey, bro, you coming off looking like the the good stand up guy here, right? 
Right. But how many girls' names you got tattooed on you? Well, not only that, well, but, but well, let's that's go. before though. Like, if you got that's the, that's my next topic. I'm okay, talk but, about but who's going. not who's not to say in these five years if he wasn't like, hey, one of my homegirls died. I'm gonna get her name tattooed on me. This is just his side of the story. Okay. But but what but what I'm saying is, is this is what happens when you throw one is, thing in one. Circle. So that's our job to just kind of interject in. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm saying is is Bigger okay. Picture. So the the ex boyfriend dies. She tells him that he dies. His reaction to is so, or what was his reaction to? To he said he was understanding. Yeah, but understanding meaning what? Like when you tell me this, Corey. Let's let's say hypothetically on, it's us because she left for three weeks. What did he say to yeah, her like, to what push I, her her way? Maybe if, maybe he pushed her away. What if she comes in, she distraught, and I'm playing Call of Duty, mm. and she's like, "Hey, my ex boyfriend just died." Blah blah, blah. and I'm like, "I and <laughs> so," and I'm still clicking away <laughs> and, and being like, "That nigga, hey, nigga, he's at two seventy five rest." Right. <laughs> right. And she like, right. I got three of them over there. I got three you. of them. <laughs> drop the pins so I can drop. <laughs> drop the exactly. pins on the map. Exactly. Who selected where we going, bro? Right. Wait, where, who, where we dropping? <laughs> Wait, who died? <laughs> yeah. Right. No, no my bro no. just died. I got to yeah. go revive yeah, this nigga. nigga. I got to go no. get four grand this, right now. No. Get this nigga up. No. No. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> like, this is very true, right? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. What like, maybe maybe that's situation. what happened to push her away for the three weeks because it's very <laughs> odd for, for <laughs> me to understand her. Yeah. Hey, let's, say for three let's, weeks. let's say it wasn't. Let's say it wasn't. It was. It, You're going to take everything he said and word for word. That's what we ran away because that's what we were just saying. Just. Y'all playing both sides. I'm going to play the other side. Let's not, say, I'm, let's say it wasn't. Let's say it wasn't what. Let's say it was exactly how, how he said he it said was. It. Okay. Let's just for shits and giggles. Okay. You still don't. We already said we had. I board. said yeah. I yeah said, we already said, said we had. Yeah, said said board. Said yeah no. I'm. I'm. I, first just giving of all, you an alternate he let, opinion. He let a lot of things float. Yeah. That would have definitely called off. This wasn't a oh, long the time ago. Called off. The marriage would have been called off after you leave me for three weeks. Yeah. You're not finna leave but me out. But she FaceTime every night, right? I don't no, give a damn. She's going on timeout. Huh? She I don't give a damn. She's going on timeout. You out in these streets? No. Or she going on timeout. No. You out in no. these streets, Reggie? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. Okay. So after what week do you call it quits? Um, my thing is, it's it's not on a week thing. It's when she decided to leave our house. Oh. Yeah. My Initially. Thing, yeah, when, if you I because, still don't understand it because my thing is my either. thing is, and and this is how how I am. Even if we get into a heated argument, I understand people do need to separate. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, when you walk away and it's not on a mutual ground, yeah, then that's when we still have a problem. Okay. Up right. until up until like if you walk away and be like, like it's one of those things where like. You can I tell you can tell when somebody needs space. Not not even that, yes. but I, and I understand that, but it's it, I almost feel like when you walk away from us having a a heated conversation or even an argument, if you want to go mm -hmm. to that extreme and use that word, okay. When you walk away, it's like you just hung up on me, okay. And if you hang up on me, and if you know me, you will not talk to me again, right. I'm not going to so, call you. I won't pick up the phone when you call me because that to me is the it's just it's completely it's a disrespectful. For you. Okay, there had to be a conversation between them about her leaving, though. That's what True. I'm saying. Yeah, and 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 then her deciding that this was that was the best option for her mm -hmm. that don't work for me. That is confusing don't, for me because, like we said, no, it's not confusing. It, it don't work. It, don't it does work. not compute no. in what you have in your mind. Yeah. It, it does, doesn't yeah. compute yeah. because if you build, if like we said, you are to be married. Yeah. So to me, I'm not even thinking about the to be married part. I'm just thinking about the whole why. Like, why do you need to be away from me? Yes. I didn't shoot him. Yeah, exactly. I didn't. Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you? Why are you distancing <laughs> yourself from you? You don't know that. Yeah. yeah. And if I, I did. I hired somebody yeah. to do it. Yeah. So that that's why it would be like, why are you distancing yourself from me? I didn't. Yes. Do anything in this. That's the part that that I have a problem okay. with. Okay. So. Yeah. I mean, it it just yeah, it just doesn't compute. It doesn't, okay. It doesn't work. Does for not me. compute. And I then and then I guess and and the end of it is. 
what you were saying is why is she so distraught that would be my my it would be the probably definitely the last thing that i would think about mm-hmm. after we're on pause after i p- postpone the wedding i'm like why you're, the fuck you're is postponing she? yeah you're not yeah. calling it off well postpone calling off is the same thing right no 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 calling Post it off is, 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 is delayed done. Okay. We're going to postpone the wedding for six months. Until month. further notice. T- yes. TBD. <laughs> if, if I got to say my damn marriage is TBD, the shit's over. The shit's over. The shit's over. <laughs> Let me out these streets. Ain't nothing to think, think about. Yeah, ain't nothing to think about. If we got to say my marriage is TBD, marriage is TBD. I got you. I got yeah, you. that nigga I single. You. I got you. So we're going to cancel the wedding. We're going to cancel the wedding. I'm, can- cancel I'm the wedding. canceling the wedding but, on But that. once that's done, then, then you go back and you recollect and you're like, why the fuck was she so caught up on this dude? And then, and then that's when you start thinking that like she had there's there had to be something else going on right. there had to be there yeah. had to be that, that's the only the logical the logical thing that you go that that's the logical progression that's where you're Cause, like because i I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say if um a ex-girlfriend of mine died and you know the person i'm talking about yeah, 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 yeah. i wouldn't uh, it should be me like damn that's fucked up man but you're not gonna be distraught. No. And you're not gonna be like, babe, I need some I need some time no. away for like three weeks. No. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna go get her name tattooed no. on me. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no what? Okay. <laughs> I got a lot of tattoos. And, and I, I'm not going to no. do that. I would never no. do that. I would never at do that. all. You know what I'm saying? But um no nah, man, that's that's so that brings me into something Reggie said that I got a question. What's that question? You're just making up questions. Oh, now. yeah, this shit just came to me, man. Oh, like a damn light bulb. Oh, great. Like a great idea. Can you put them light bulbs on dim? Oh, damn. <laughs> Would you or have you dated or became serious with a woman? There we go. Became serious with a woman who had another man's name tattooed on her body? No. Yes. No? No. no. Could you? Could I? I could. Okay. I could. I'm not, yeah. I'm, yeah, I could. All right. But I never have. No. I haven't. Haven't just because I just haven't. It just hasn't happened. I just haven't met I'm anybody. I'm married now, so that shit ain't happening. to be honest with you, maybe they did. And maybe I just didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> <That's> why, <laughs> which but, is also, but also possible. That's why I say it's serious. Not just mess with her dated, but I say it's serious because if you became serious, you seen her... Yeah, Naked but I'm, many I'm times not over. remembering her tattoos. Like they're not imprinted in my head. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, yeah. I'm gonna take that back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to retract that you last nasty. statement. <laughs> <laughs> you um, but uh, yeah, no, no, I haven't. No, okay. No. Yeah, uh, me either. Um, I haven't, and I don't know if I. Well, I'm married now, so the shit don't fucking matter. Um, you read? You said you have? Yeah. Yeah. Reggie, Reggie be messing with Reggie some, be everywhere. some hoses. Yeah. Oh. Hose. Come on, son. Uh, <laughs> come on, son. Do you take pride in, in, in seeing that man's name and know you hitting now? So, well, no, it doesn't. It, don't make I, don't, I don't mind. care about their past. Yeah, 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 it, 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 it wouldn't, never, it wouldn't bother me. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. I don't know if it would bother me because I never dealt with it. It would not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I just had a question. I always, I, and to be honest with you, I'm <laughs> it's funny to me, but. And I do it all the time, but whenever I see a, a, a female with somebody's name tattooed, I always think it's like their kid or some shit. <laughs> only because That's I petty, uh, only, you don't want to you don't want to face the facts. Well, that and because if you I see have, if you see Rufus on a girl's back, that's not her kid. That is definitely <laughs> not her kid. The she only ain't got reason, no kid named Rufus. The only reason why I say it is because I've got my boys' names tattooed on me. So yeah, I'm like, but okay. That's a guy thing. Yeah, I got well, women. Women I got the kids tattooed initial tattoo. I tattoo know on girls me. that have their kids' names yes. tattooed. Okay, so so, so does I, it make you know? Never mind when you tapping that ass and you know they kids' names is on it. Doesn't. Uh-oh. Yeah, that I've definitely done. Now nah, he's looking like I don't want to be number three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my kids' name on there. That, that I've definitely <laughs> seen. Just not 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 a boyfriend's name unless okay. it's a junior. Mm. You already got one though. No, unless the kid is a junior. Oh, okay. from her. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, moving on. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> really? Alaska Airline plane kills bear while landing. Oh, poor bear. Did y'all see that shit? Get your I, ass on. I saw. First of I all, didn't somebody read. got fired. I, <laughs> got I fired didn't read the story, that. but but I I heard about it 
not that story, but I was listening to uh, Dan Levitard on the way to work. I, I want to say it was Monday or Tuesday because okay. I had saw the story on Sunday, maybe Monday. But it was funny the next day I, I they were talking about it on the radio and I thought they were talking about that story, but it was no, it was somebody else had the exact same thing happen to them. Two bears got healed in another in another Still? landing situation, but this time they were in I don't know where that one was landing. Okay. What, was it New York? This was Alaska. It was this one the story they were telling the guy it happened to him on the plane. They were on the plane that hit the bear and it was in mm. New York. Shit. <laughs> God, watch yeah. out for bears. Shit. Yeah. So, no, uh, not watch out for bears. First of all, who is supposed to be keeping the tarmac clear? I Fire that person. Yeah, true. Because you know somebody's job is that. True. Have you driven past the, past the airport anytime it's soon? Gated the fuck yeah, up. it's hard to get in the motherfucker. But this Alaska airport is look like it's in the middle of that damn woods <laughs> and they <ain't> shit. Somebody's <laughs> y'all job tell probably me. is. Somebody's y'all job. In Alaska, y'all tell me. No, oh, it's been mm. a long How time. was it flying out of Alaska? I don't huh. remember. So my homeboy told me the, the last time I flew out, I ain't never been back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> my homeboy told me when I was stationed in Japan, <laughs> the um, the rotator stopped over from Misawa to Alaska to Seattle. Okay. Right at a time, so he said he landed in the winter time in Alaska. But I guess it's always winter time. The plane <laughs> landed, <laughs> and he said that damn plane dropped like two or three inches into the snow oh, when it hit the ground. When he hit the ground, he said it was the worst shit he ever had to deal with, dog. So yeah, fuck that, fuck Alaska. It's actually kind of funny. I mean, it's not funny, you know, poor bear, but yeah, how oh. does? That that is like some very Murphy's Law so, type of so shit. So does that mean airplanes don't have horns? They don't got horns. They don't. Really. Why not? But the bear didn't see the airplane come the in. The bear didn't see the airplane. You know what this reminds me of? What? The question I asked in Seattle. When I wanted to see a polar bear in Alaska. Jesus. <laughs> what do you want to do in Seattle, Corey? I want to see a polar bear. No. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> that is not what you want to do no, in Seattle. Don't. No, yeah, no, you don't. No, you don't. The zoo. We can go to the zoo. You can go to the zoo and see a polar bear. Yeah. No. I didn't say mm. in Seattle. I said the last. I want to go because the question was, let's go to Alaska. I said, let's go to Alaska. No. I want to see a polar bear. No, he didn't say that. He did. Yeah, no, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't in Seattle, but it like was it. a cruise. It was a cruise oh, to Alaska. Yeah, yeah. Cruise to Alaska. Yeah, I said, yeah, I want to see a polar bear in Alaska. What do you want to do in Alaska? I want to see a polar bear. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. The smartest dummy you know. All right, man. School asked parents to stop the word late students over closed gate. Hey, that shit's funny. <laughs> what? Is that shit is funny. What the school. The school asked parents to stop throwing <laughs> late students over the fence. So now we toss and door. This shit is that shit is funny. Uh, elementary school of France put up a pair of posters outside their fence with un, with an unusual request for parents: don't throw late students over closed gate. That's funny. This, I'm pretty sure it's not a big gate. Maybe let's just say it's let's a say four three, or five, three or four feet high. Yeah, and you oh, get so up, they're just grabbing them and just yeah, just dropping them over. Like, oh shit, we're like late. The they closed the gate. Yeah, like just, the yeah, just jump, yeah, just dump them over the gate. Gone, <laughs> gone, <laughs> gone. Run the class. Late parents literally mm -hmm. throw through their children over the gate when they arrive to find it closed. That shit is funny. <laughs> Please tell me there's pictures. There's only a few scattered incidents, no reported injuries, but there were, uh, there were enough tossed children to inspire the school's officials to take actions and post a reminder. That is horrible. That's actually hilarious. Oh, man. God damn it, Judah, get the class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. shit, we late. Get late. your ass over there. Mm -mm. Yo. What kind of parent you got to be to throw your kid over the fence? <laughs> somebody that wants very to get, strong. Somebody that wants to get rid of their kid. And needs some time for themselves for about six hours. <laughs> somebody that has an appointment to get some dick. Exactly. Oh. I need to be by myself for these next six, seven hours. Yo, don't get your ass to class. You don't get your ass over the fence? I need a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time for you to be sitting at home looking at me. <laughs> oh, man. And I know parents, we all need breaks. But yeah, that's funny. Throwing your kids over the fence. It's not that, that serious. That reminds me of uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Jazz getting thrown out the house. I can just yeah. see the kid getting yeah. thrown yeah. over the fence. Ah. Oh, man. Isaiah was watching that reunion, too. I was about yeah. to say, speaking of that, yeah, it, reunion, dropped, it dropped early. Okay. Cops shut down massive illegal fight club in New York. Uh, A real fight club? Okay. 
Did y'all see that? No. I didn't read about that one. Yeah. What y'all got, man? It wasn't a very... I mean, I watched Fight Club, but it wasn't a very interesting thing to me. Okay. Did you see the tree <laughs> for Rockefeller Center this year? Yes. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> I saw yes. another story about it today, too. So sad. That tree... Who, so first sad. of all, whoever bought the tree is about to get fired. Well, I saw them cutting it down... And then they loaded up on the truck or whatever. Shots up. Straight, just shots up. I number think, three, number um, four. I think the leaves blew off on it while they were driving it down there. Mm-mm. I think that's what happened. That's what we're sticking with. No. That's not. The leaves falling off of it ain't the bad part. Did you see the video of them trying to set it up? And the branches breaking on it as they lifted it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm telling like, you, I think all that happened. That while tree they is were, dead. Why they were rolling that shit out? That there. tree didn't. Dry out in three days. Oh, yeah, true. True. Because I saw, I saw a video of them cutting it down. Like, oh, shit, you know, that they were, you know, trying to get into the swing of things for Christmas. So they showed a video of them cutting it down and then loading it up on the semi. Mm-hmm. And then the last, the next thing I see is you showing me that picture of it. Of a looking, up. looking like Charlie Brown tree, like you said. The big ass Charlie Brown tree. But I read an article about it today. It had owls and shit all in it. Like all kinds oh, of shit. Oh, still? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First of all, uh, where the fuck is FEMA? Is like, Not FEMA. What is it? PETA. PETA. Yeah. Where the fuck is PETA? Who the hell cut this tree? Yeah, they, they were getting <laughs> owls and shit out of it. It was on TMC. TMZ. <laughs> I seen it. That's fucking hilarious. Oh man, okay, y'all ready for what race is it? Oh, one more thing before we get to what race is it? I was on Twitter a week ago. I saw some weird shit. Somebody posted some weird you know, shit. I see some weird shit on Twitter. Twitter's actually pretty fun though. So apparently, I'm starting to realize it's a lot more funner than what I'll be looking yes. at. Yes. Yeah, Twitter's fun. You gotta be careful though. Don't follow the don't wrong follow, pages. Yeah, don't follow the rabbit holes. Yeah. <laughs> don't follow the wrong shit. You're nope. gonna end up with the algorithm like Corey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Speaking of algorithms. Get your pref and get your preferences set. <laughs> Speaking of algorithms. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently, people are seducing men and receiving cars and investments by sucking kneecaps. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) I'm so mad. Jesus, I fucking hate (laughs) hoes. I hate hoes. This motherfucker. (laughs) So wait. So wait a minute. Come on. So wait. Say it. Do it. Do it again. Read it again. <laughs> Read it again. People are seducing men. People. Women. And receiving cars and investments mm-hmm. by sucking. Cars and investments. 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 By sucking kneecaps. Reggie <laughs> <laughs> said, I hate hoes. <laughs> Not even that. <laughs> Not even that. I hate niggas. <laughs> Who paid no, for this shit? Like, you know it's only white people doing that shit. For shit. You gonna let somebody suck on your kneecap cord? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I, and I think it's some freaky shit. But. <laughs> no. Hey, if let y'all me, come let back, me rub, let me rub on my kneecap back, real quick. I was just about to say, if you come back next week and be like, I grabbed some ice out the refrigerator, and I just wanted to see what it did. <laughs> on my kneecap. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, man, my don't, kneecap don't is strong as Don't ever come to the house again. <laughs> I got Dude, a big ass kneecap over here. Year. Man. I wish we could find people to dare to do this shit. I wish I could find somebody to interview who's done this before. Truth. No. If you've done this, no. please call in. Don't me. Google it. Oh, please call in. Please call in. We're not going to Google Voice Hill or DM us at the Killing Time Just podcast. Just be at the bottom yeah. of this. Um, on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, or Facebook. Let whatever. us know. Let us know if you're sucking on kneecaps. If you're sucking on kneecaps. We want to call you and have you on a little ten minute interview about you sucking on kneecaps and what you've got from <laughs> sucking on kneecaps. Sucking on kneecaps. I need Bro. to. I need to know what. Or yeah. whatever weird shit you've done. Yeah. Sucking on kneecaps. Yeah. Please call me. Bro. If you're sucking on toes to get no, that's different money though. Pay. That's different. Is it? I so mean, it's, it's not. It's not. I feel like the it's, toe is worse than the kneecap. I think the kneecap is worse, bro. There's, it's a knee. It's a, it's literally all, an. It's a first, bone. First you walk on your toes. You ain't never. You you said you feel like a toe is worse than a kneecap. Yes. You ain't never sucked on a toe in your whole filthy exactly. career. Exactly. Of course, so nasty exactly. shit. Don't, of course, course I have. Don't lie. Exactly. So, exactly. Of course, exactly. I have. And but still, this is a nasty motherfucker. Shit. Yeah, but a kneecap though. Go watch. Go watch your goddamn Try feet. it tonight. Try it tonight. When you get home, <laughs> tell Coley you're going to be like, man, yeah. let me say, 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 let
She gonna be like, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna say, she gonna say, move if I try to suck on her toes. <laughs> she, she gonna say, move. get away from me. Yeah, move. Mm-hmm. If I try to kiss her, trying to watch this movie. Yeah. What Shit. you been doing? Seriously, you you must be drunk. Get your, drunk, get your drunk ass out of here. <laughs> You've had too much Tango Ray. Ooh, Tango Ray. Hey, that's another good thing I will say. Leaving the airport. First of all, airports get you with those fucking prices. Oh my god, that on the rocks thing, boy, that shit was great. The motherfuckers is fire. Yes, that shit was good. That I didn't drink great. the whole thing. I drunk. I saved mine drunk at here. Hey, I came home lit because <laughs> <laughs> I got off that plane feeling great because we had the rock to finish. Mm-hmm. Oh, if y'all don't know, um, a, a good hack I found when we stay at Airbnb. You know, me and the wife started taking cups, our own cups. Uh-huh. Well, Reggie. Brought his own. Um, oh yes, go ahead, Reggie. My my significant other. Well, I shouldn't. You call it. Yeah, call it. Call it. It's, it's gonna happen. Put some respect on her name. It's, it's gonna the, happen. It's the S O. You can call it S O. I can't, gonna wait, I can't wait for that destination wedding. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'll let you know where and where 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 to be at. And we're recording out there too. <laughs> yeah, just like we were supposed um, to record like Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, exactly. Sounds oh, great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. This time we'll pay somebody. Dude. Right. That's <laughs> what we'll do. We'll pay somebody to video and record us the whole time. Oh, Reggie. And then we can just do us and we don't have to worry about now it. Now you're thinking. Bing, bing, bing. Not what were you saying? Rack. So, um, no, my girlfriend, she bought me the... I'm gonna call it the Yeti Flask. I really don't know the real name. Just call it the Yeti Flask. But it's but it's a it's a one liter one. Yeah, oh, it's a big one. So like, she's even mad that I got this one and she bought it. She bought. (laughs) I got a small one. But like, like like, it's immaculate on the filling it up with ice Mm -hmm. and pouring you something to drink in there and then. Like, she was mad at me every night because I have a habit of being thirsty in the middle of the night. And it's just sitting right there. That's well, no, I would grab it. All night. I would grab it and... Ching, 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 No, and then, and then it's so cold because you'd be like, like, you wake up and you just want something to drink. You don't yeah. want it to be that cold. Mm-hmm. Right. It is like, it's it don't change. fresh out it's of the freezer. Don't change. Yeah. The ice don't melt. So, like, the, so I put some ice in there Friday morning. Actually, Thursday night. I never switched out the ice until s- s- that Sunday morning. Sunday morning when we were leaving, that's when I dumped out all the ice. Damn. From the first time that I filled it yeah. up. Yeah. So, bro, what did you in the world? What did you put in it leaving Seattle? Oh, I filled it up with Jameson. <laughs> Oh, but then she going to ask me when I got home, how did you get the Jameson out of there and pour it in your bottle? Um, you just answer your own question, honey. Yeah, First of all, because I'm an alcoholic yeah, and I don't know how to pour. Yeah, just pour it in there. First off, um, Reggie don't waste Jameson. No, we don't waste. Don't. We did waste alcohol out there. Like we did. We, 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 we waste. Yeah. We wasted what? What alcohol? alcohol. Where? Well, beer? I, bought, I bought a six pack. No, that went back. Mission, no, not all the beer went back. Oh, oh we well, gave it to I Keanu. Mean, I mean, we some, of, to some yeah. of it. Some of it went to Keanu's house. Yeah. And then, and then, to me, it's all right to leave some stuff Keanu in the Airbnb. all that food out. No, I talked to her yesterday. What'd she say? It's she around. killed that food? Uh, the food part. She probably she's throw it away now. If, she's yeah, still, yeah. She's yeah. Still if it's she still there be. like that, yeah. probably so. Because most but of the gloves too, she's keeping the shit. Oh, yeah. But, um, what the fuck? Was, oh, what, what was I at? Mm-hmm. What race is it? Oh, yeah, let's go. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna fuck y'all up with this one. Mm-mm. No, the last one really got us. Burglar who left name and address at crime scene jailed. No, no, white. I don't want to talk about it. Anymore. White. The information helped lead police officers. This to is a white sixty-year-old woman. Malcolm Pike's home, Shit. where the stolen equipment <laughs> had been left out in the open. <laughs> Malcolm Pike. A bungling burglar who left behind a rucksack containing his name and address at the scene of a crime oh, has been jailed for four years. Black. Malcolm Pike, 43, broke into a, into a garage in East Harrington, Sutherland, and stole. Where, where's Southern on New Jersey? Sutherland, nope. And stole 150 pounds of cleaning equipment on 6 March. Mexican. As he black, was making his getaway, he accidentally left behind a bag which contained letters bearing both his name and address. Malcolm? This Malibu information helped makes- lead police officers to his home where the okay. stolen equipment had been left out in the open. Detective Sergeant Chris Braper said Malcolm Pike is a prolific thief who has consistently proven a disregard for the law and the welfare of others. Black. 
Unfortunately for him, his latest offense, which was fairly unsophisticated, saw him leave behind a number of personal items, which directed the officer straight to his front door. In addition, mm-hmm. to plead, into, in addition to pleading guilty for the burglary, Pike also admitted to another burglary as well as two thefts of property in relation to what police have called a crime spree during which he stole clothes from a family's washing line. Come on, fellas. I said, I what know. race is it? My final answer. Shout out to Alex, Alex Trebet. Final answer. Uh, Mexican. Okay. What race is he? <sighs> Malcolm Pike is a is a wild name for a Mexican dude, but I'm running with it. Pike, Canadian. Can- <laughs> That's not a race. That's not a race. <laughs> That's a nationality. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I so want it to be a race right now. No. I know he's Canadian. He's not Canadian. Um. He's a prolific. <sighs> He, he stole stuff from a family's clothing, washing clothing. But line. he was raggedy this time. He, he he's prolific. He's been doing it, doing it, doing it well. What did you say, Mexican? I said Mexican, which is very racist of me. I mean, this is a very racist game, but pipe, I mean, it is pipe, what it is. Pipe, yeah, pipe, pipe. <laughs> it is. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it is what it is. It's just hilarious, though. Yeah, it? <laughs> it's funny. It it's a fun, fun game. It is funny. <laughs> I'm gonna say black man. You gonna say black? I he is it. white. I was gonna. I was so he ugly tired white though. He ugly white. Man, that's, that's legit that's Mexican. Mexican. That's He's a, Mexican. He's a Mexican. He's got a Mexican. This happened yeah. in Europe, in England. He got a oh, doctor. Damn. <laughs> he is. It happened in England. Sunderland. It's like English. Uh, that's why I try to give you a hint and say pounds. In the cost of oh, money, I said pounds. Oh, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that one either. <laughs> there definitely ain't no Mexican people in England. Are there Mexican people in England? Uh, they're Spanish from Spain. There you go. You're right. So You're they're right. not Mexican. You're right. My bad. Spaniards. Yeah, yeah. Not Mexicans. Right. But I like right. Mexicans. Because they can't do it. Not Mexicans. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right. All right. What else y'all got, man? What we got? We got anything um, else? I mean, the draft is going on the right draft now. Is going on. Let's yeah. talk about uh, your your check in for your flight. I know you had some issues you with me in, in the way that you know our flight was coming back. So let me tell y'all. Apparently, let, everybody's let me, a little me, tight let me about tell y'all how everybody, me and my girlfriend flew back. Let from me tell Seattle. y'all what really grinds my hey, gears. Somebody, <laughs> hey, did y'all hear Lashana say that he farts on the airplane? <laughs> yeah, she did. Right when y'all was getting up, that is hilarious. That was. <laughs> I told him, "Hey, watch them too." Hey, God damn it! But we all in the we all uh this, in the in the bourbon. Yeah, we going to the waterfall. We headed to the waterfalls, and <laughs> it was time to check in to the flight. Twenty four hours prior. Twenty four hours prior. I so, set an alarm. Uh, mind you, I'm kind of hungover. Yeah. No, I'm still hungover. And I'm a little drunk. Or you I was drunk. very drunk. That well, morning. I had hung- That's, I, we had to take the time off. Yeah, yeah. The wife. The wife, I think the wife checked us in, whatever. Mm-hmm. So we all got, all six of us got to check in. Because we're all, all on the same, same flight we're all coming the back. same flight coming back. I had set an alarm. I think we had to check in 1130. It's 1130 something, whatever. Yeah. I said it for a Spirit minute before. Ass times I said flights. it for a minute before. They leave it like 1131. Not 1130, because apparently 1130 is too close. 1131 mm-hmm. is better. Mm-hmm. Got to give you time for you colors to get <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> anyway. So we're all in the bourbon riding. The wife checks in. She's like, all right, we got row 27. Me, Reggie, Shauna, and you, all four of us got motherfucking uh, 27. Row 27. Mm-hmm. All together. we like, cool. Bet that works. Ronaldo ass on the that damn last row. I'm in row one. Yeah. How the fuck did you get row one? Well, where were y'all on? We on 27. Oh, I'm on row one. How the fuck did you get row one? Row one. Seats, did you, you paid for seats it. Seats A and C. You no, paid for that shit. Did not. Did not. It's malarkey. Did not pay for it. Full of shit. And, that, and, and that's now, what, that's I'm what, the ball, I'm yeah. the reason It's Wednesday, so we're recording a day early because I'm going to Baltimore tomorrow. So I set my fucking alarm on my phone for 525. To check in. What time was you check in? 528. Okay. Yeah, see? That's what I did. So yeah. a couple I, minutes before. A couple minutes on before. You get, you get your app I'm on there. But see, it turned 528 on my phone, and I was already on the on the thing, but it didn't switch over to say check in. Yeah, no, you got to do it a minute early. You got to do it a minute early. Just no, I had to go back out 
oh, to wear back in. and go back in, and mm. then I got rope fucking twenty C motherfuckers. Twenty C, but what's your what's your boarding? I don't care about that. Your no. zone? Yeah, what's your boarding care, zone? Like, probably three. No, I don't care no, about it'd that. be like boring. It'd be know, like a one. All I really two. care about is the when seat. I fly. No, all I really care about when I fly, cause I is I got TSA pre check. Cause I paid for that shit, and I don't want to take my shoes off. How you pay for TCA, TSA pre check? Hey, I'm going to do that shit. Bro. I got global entry. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So you pay for global entry when you fly internationally instead of going through the customs check in. Everybody else has to go through. Mm-hmm. You go to a little muffin kiosk and you scan your global entry card and you ask a couple questions and you through inter- and you do customs internationally. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So instead of waiting that long ass line, right, right, and we start flying internationally a couple pay, times a year. Where can I? Pay for that. Cord, TSA. TSA. All, all the traveling hacks, by the way. TSA. Right there is what I need. It's like a hundred something dollars for like five years. Mm-hmm. This shit is so fucking worth it. It's the, like one hundred and eighty bucks. The the parking hookup. Corey got it. Got the travel it. hookup. Corey got Goddamn it. Goddamn right. You didn't pay for no parking, did you? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh no, I'm a disabled vet. She's like, okay. Go out. She, she had you the yeah, thing. No, she, right, yeah, she, looked, she, looked, she walked around. She's like, all right. Because when I first gave her a ticket, she was like, $65. I was like, mm. <laughs> so who? Disabled vet. Disabled vet. Disabled vet. What words do I need to use? That luggage might be in that Z tight as fuck. Hey, but it was but, yeah, but it was part. free. Yeah. Yeah. Dot com. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. So that's that's why it's always good to know somebody. Goddamn right. Shit. Not what you know is who you, you gotta is. take a trip. It's you not what you know trip. is who you know. Yeah, you, exactly. leave, you leave me your car, you take the truck, and we call it right damn day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shit. Right. You got anything, Reggie? For what? Coming up. The rest of the week, Corey, you going out of town? What I you going to be doing? I'm going to Baltimore tomorrow. Oh, that's what we're about. It's coming up in life. Anything, Reggie? You got any copies you want to talk about, brother? Mm-hmm. Okay, eat your chips, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to Baltimore uh, tomorrow. Going to kick it with Mac and B more. Shout out to them. Uh, we're supposed to be going to the game, but since uh, funky ass COVID I is going on, um, we can't go nowhere. So we're just going to be hanging out all weekend, man. I could see. Uh, could see a couple homies other than the Mac and B more and all the uh, people in the pool with we in the uh, football pool with. I got a couple other homies I was stationed out there. You remember um the tall dude who was at, who spoke about retirement, dark skin ball yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to see Jock, he's stationed out there now. Okay. I got some people in Japan I was stationed where I get to go see and shit and um When's Max oh Mac, you already did Max. Mac retired. Yeah, Mac yeah, retired. retired. Yeah, I went to his When does what's he doing? B B was retired. Oh he did didn't, he? he didn't get to have a ceremony because of COVID though. Because he was supposed to have a ceremony at the beginning of the year because of COVID. They didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. man, we got to figure out something to do. Because of, oh, so. Cause of COVID and everything and some other stuff. So he was retired when he came out here. Yeah, he was out here. He had already been retired. Oh, um, man, we got to figure yeah. out something. He had already been here. retired. Uh, well, we got- maybe we can plan something over the new year. We all take a ticket to, take a trip to Baltimore. So we know it's cheap. We all just go to Baltimore. Baltimore. I'm you don't scared want to stay to Baltimore. Why? Exactly, because people be getting shot out there. Y'all, would, out y'all there. would love Baltimore. I'm telling y'all right now. That should sounds real hood. where he stays... It's a perfect distance between Baltimore and D.C. So we get the best of both worlds. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Fellow hmm. trip, though. Hmm. 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 Yeah, man. But, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward. Y'all, y'all want me to bring y'all back anything? I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to in Baltimore. I don't, know. Baltimore. I don't know if I want to know. A goddamn chicken box. Oh, my God. Food. All right. Yes. All right. Food. It's a goddamn. Told you. Get some he'll, wings. He'll spend a million mm-hmm. on his body. Mm-hmm. Two on his Get soul. Get some wings. Mm-hmm. The Western mm-hmm. fries with salt and pepper on them. Okay. And a half and half. Lemonade and iced tea. One sip give you five cavities. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, okay. Hey, All right. I All right. can't wait. You can't wait for it. Oh, I'll tell you, uh, baby girl going with me too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alicia going out there. Oh, she's going with you? Her best friend lives out there on, oh, this, okay. on the same base that B Moore lives. And they're like, it's the same base I used to be stationed at when I lived in Maryland. Mm-hmm. Her best friend is stationed on that base right now. Oh, okay. So it just makes sense. She's oh, like, so both of y'all going out of town tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, Me and the kid cool. going. She going to kick it with her. I'm going to um, be at B Moore's yeah, house. Y'all separate ways. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as y'all touch down. All right, kid. Love I'll, ya. What time, what time we leave? I'll see you at the airport. Call me. Yeah, call me when it's time check in. See you at the airport on call Sunday. Call me. <laughs> If you don't need me, me and the goons coming through though. Right. Don't call me. If you call me, me yes. and like eighty two niggas Fuck showing up. Squad showing up. <laughs> yeah, Look, y'all have no fucking Mom, idea. Gonna be upside it's, it's down. All a bunch of fucking retired, <laughs> angry fucking <laughs> the military motherfuckers with guns for no goddamn reason. No, we don't even got goddamn guns, but we got them. 
Nah, right. Shit You know what I'm saying But it's gonna be a good time man I'm, I'm ready to hang out um, Just hang with my boys And shit man Yeah But yeah man That's it man So uh Everybody ready for Thanksgiving Next week man, 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 No man, man, man. Uh, No I'm not ready for Thanksgiving What you doing for Going to the homie Bill and Tasha house Oh You yeah, know I'm looking forward to it You're just not ready for it uh, Well I ain't got to cook So that's great um, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying So that's always a plus Nice four cook. day weekend Bill no, is not really. Bill right seems like the Bill. funnest person to be around. Yo, Bill is great. Did you see the the, the flask he gave me? This yeah. shit was pretty dope. Yeah, that was. It was uh, all right. It was all right. You this because you didn't say Ravens right. on it. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, because yeah. they say Buccaneers on I it. I got one of those already. They didn't say Buccaneers. <laughs> do, do it have your name on it? It does. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it does, and I've had it for a really long time. Anyway, <laughs> well, I got one. But uh, no, nah, Bill. Hey, Bill is cool as shit, man. Yeah, I like. Bill. He wanted. He they actually wanted to come on the Seattle trip. But I wish they would have y'all. Like, gotta love Bill, man. Bill I cool love, as shit. I like Bill. Yeah, Bill is oh, hilarious by the, to me. By the, can we? Are we done? We no. gotta talk about. Okay, I was uh, gonna ask what, what, what our next uh, trip was gonna be. That was it. But we oh, can wrap it up. The wife is Sicar ex Carta. Ex Carta in Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. I think yeah. she was thinking about. Yeah, we can talk about that off. The air. And I also Bill sent me some shit yesterday for 20, uh, Super Bowl cruise for twenty twenty two. I'm not going on that Super Bowl cruise ever. Okay, that's fine with you. I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It does seem like a lot of ratchet shit, but um, Do you, so, you wanna, so you want to go? First of all, 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 it is super ratchet. Seems like a lot of ratchet and shit. And if going you're on. not ready to fight for your wife every day, Corey, do I not fight go. Every day to prove my love. Hey, and the first night you're gonna end up in the brig. First on the boat. Uh, and then what's she gonna be out here doing? After I did 20 years of my career out going to the brig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can handle the brig. Hey, these these youngsters go on these cruises. And they lose their mind. I think this is a fellas weekend, though. <laughs> okay. Have no, you, it is. Have it's, you, a, it's a fellas weekend. Yeah, you got a lot of ag- algor- algorithms. Uh huh. Say it. Algorithms. Because <laughs> Reggie can't say it. Because Reggie can't say it. You got, you got <laughs> a lot of those in your phone. <laughs> say it. Type in the say one. It. Say Type it. in. No, say you it. got a lot of those. You got say a lot of algorithms. those. The there you go. Yeah. Algorithms. You got a lot of those. Algorithms. You got a lot of those in your phone. Type in the one for for Super Bowl cruises. Okay, I know it'd be a lot of. So Bill said he go every year. Use that's his that's his lit fellas trip and everything. He can go every single year. Oh, so I should have Bill can go, then I can go. Yeah, it's also saying so. Hmm. Good. Okay. But no, um, and it's only like four hundred dollars. I know how much it is. I've looked at it. I'm with it. <laughs> so you want to go? I'm with it. But if you go I mean, with us, clearly Tampa's gonna be in the Super Bowl, so I plan on. Being this is twenty twenty two. They might be in the Super Bowl next year too. Okay. We're going, <laughs> we're going. Oh, we might be there as media. Hey. hey. There we go. All right, wrap this shit up, B. Play the music. The only <laughs> thing that um, I'm looking forward to the rest of this week. I just got this new Obama book. I'm looking forward to reading. That. I'm going to talk it right now, man. That nigga can't read. The motherfucking book is 700 pages, dog. Audio book. And, and, and <laughs> audio book. <now. laughs> Woo, told y'all they can't read. I'm a listen. It's only the first volume. He's putting out a second volume of it. He actually oh, says it in the book. Like, I, hope I, he talks I, about I read Trump a lot. He de- like, the very first paragraph he's going in. Oh, oh shots fired? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to pick that bitch up right the now. The very first wow. paragraph he goes, he's talking about how, like, his last couple days, de- he talks about the last day. And him flying out on um, Air, Force, Air one. Force One or or Marine Air, One or whatever yeah. it was, and he was like, "I just handed over the presidency to somebody that is, I forget the word he used, detrimentally opposed to everything that I believe in." Come on, <laughs> it's the first I'm paragraph taking, of the I'm book. Taking, I'm taking a shot because right there he was Barack Obama. Yeah, right there. he, he, was, he was like, nah, but, but he also he, talks that's about. The truth. But he also talks about how. How he went through the whole uh, changeover, the changeover, the and, how he, the power. and how he knew that shit. I don't fuck with this nigga, but well, he didn't I fuck gotta do it. What, I gotta do what I gotta, I gotta do. do. What I gotta do, but and you and you put yourself yeah, oh, above the, that job. He, no, he puts. He no, put he, put the job, he put the job. He put the job above his country. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michelle, so didn't, Michelle didn't want him to run for it's president. Li- it, I'm talking. Duh, it's literally yeah. in, the, in like the first like couple pages. I can't wait. About all that shit. And they, like I said, it's seven hundred of them shit. I can't wait I for can, it. It's, I'm it's here a, for it. It's a book book. Yeah, I might have to go pick okay. it up this weekend too. All right. I think I might have to start reading on Sunday. So one last shot before we get up out of here. Yeah, because we missed oh. all the what you call it. What's that? Sh- this is the shot of episode. 
This is uh this is top four. Okay. Five. Five for you, four for us. Twenty eight. The crown apples halfway gone. Hey, crown boy if you're listening. Yeah, you just bought this bottle. Halfway gone. That shit is at the <laughs> bottom of the fucking logo. Hey Jameson, if you're listening. We miss Sponsor you. We us. love you. Hey, you please hey Heineken, if you're I'll listening. Put, I'll put that tattoo on me before I get married. Somebody in here already did. Jameson? Heineken. Yeah, I did. I just got my kids in ball till I fall. <laughs> Too much big timers, you ain't even get paid. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? That. Huh? What do you think you should update that? <laughs> update it. He gonna cover it up? It might yeah, be. Yeah, that's it, what I mean. Is that it a cover up that It might be my birthday next year for my birthday present to myself. Hmm. Sounds good now. Get a lion. <laughs> Leo's. <laughs> Roar. Right, fellas, we done? I think I'm good. Ready? Minute, 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 minute. 45, 47. He didn't even do it right. Didn't no, even he didn't. Do it right. So, hey. Until uh, next week. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't taking no more breaks, bro. Mm-mm. We sometimes, might have to. Sometimes nah. we, we ain't gonna record mm-hmm. on Thanksgiving. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. We're gonna record on Wednesday. No, we're gonna record on Thanksgiving. We're gonna be together Thanksgiving because I'm gonna be at Dylan's house. No, you gonna call in, nigga. Okay, Reggie. Where y'all gonna All be right. Thanksgiving? I'm gonna see y'all Is, later. Y'all gonna see y'all. House? Yeah, of course. that's where I'm gonna be. And you know you always come by anyways. We got to get Christmas plans going. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. We man. love y'all. Thanks for listening. Until next time. We'll figure this out and we'll see y'all next week. Follow Peace us out, on baby. Twitter, Instagram. Come on, Reggie. Come Facebook. On, come, on, come on. Come on. Come on. Everything, I guess. <laughs> Reggie has not been to Snapchat yet because that's his, that's his department. I don't, I don't work Snapchat. Uh, you know what I look at on Snapchat? I'll Go. send y'all the, oh, I'll I'll send y'all the, the Google, the Google so, phone so number. Send that to y'all. Your algorithm on Snapchat is where it's at. It's huh? cracking <laughs> on Snapchat. On Snapchat, <laughs> this shit goes wild. We're going to end this shit like five times. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> That's, That's why right. they love us. Edit it out. No, they don't. Just say bye. They don't love us. No, no they do. Just say they bye. Do. So, oh, Reggie, you had a question before we get the fuck out of here. What was my question? You said, who getting the first groupie? I say you. Oh, my goodness. I did not say this question. Did you get a groupie? You not saying Prove nothing? It. Who, who got, got a groupie? A groupie? He got, got a groupie. It's the text. No, you I said. said, you I said, said who, who, okay, who, okay, okay, okay. You you got me in the corner. Now. Come on, Reggie. I did ask. Out of all of us, who would get the first groupie? Who would be the one to get the first groupie in their inbox? Yes. And from the Killing like Time that. podcast. From the podcast. From what we're doing right now. That's all I said. Okay. Who would be? I say you. Of course you do. I say you. Fuck you. <laughs> well, no, though, you're the tiebreaker. I say both of y'all. Oh, because <laughs> clearly I'm not in the running, so I ain't got nothing to worry so about. I don't give up. <laughs> this nigga is. This nigga is. I am right not here. in the running, so oh. I don't care. <laughs> it's, I just got to listen to my, <laughs> my thing is look, all jokes aside about it. Well, I guess still kind of joke. I just want whoever gets the first groupie inbox to admit it and and blast that person online. You can't blast them. Blast you them want to embarrass them? Yeah. You want you know you want to blast a groupie or blast us? No, I don't want to blast a groupie. I take that yeah. back. Blast, blast is the wrong word. Yes. I want to acknowledge that person. Okay, you can blank everything out and put the message. But where does it come from? It has to be in the killing time. Yeah, you just DMs. post it. You post it. You hide their face. You just show the message. It's gotta be in the killing time DMs. I'm not even gonna say show the message because that that's a lot of cropping that you gotta do. Not, just just okay. just type in that message into the group chat. No. Into Killing Time Podcast. On the on the feed? Yes. Okay. We have to type it into the podcast feed. Oh, you're going to retype, copy and paste. Retype, yeah, copy, and paste. copy and paste it. Don't, but without their faces, you can do a screenshot and crop yeah. it. You can do a screenshot and crop it. Yeah, but that's a, that's a little bit too Reginals much. Reginald's first groupie. I'm editing all this shit out, but y'all have a good night. <laughs> and we are out this bitch. Deuces. Deuces. Deuces.